Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, fellow Scorpio, so this is going to be our uh, weekly tarot reading for December 9th to December 15, 2019. And bear with me, guys, a couple of seconds to shuffle the tarot cards. And we can jump straight away into the spread. And as I said, spread, by the way, uh, we do have a new one. Um, it's going to be an eight card spread. Just there won't be any uh, elemental, elemental dignities reading. Because it's uh, it's quite complex, you know, and it kind of takes a, a toll on me. So I uh, decided to make the things a little bit more laid back, and uh, let's see what we have with it. So the first card for our week uh, that is going to be the hangman. For what it seems, that is the topic of our week. Uh, let's see about the energies that are supporting this uh, this topic and this team, and we do have the star. Awesome. So the next one, it is about the challenges that we need to uh, overcome throughout the week. That is going to be the, the emperor, followed by the third, the fourth one, excuse me, that represents the uh, blessings and the gifts. And oh my God, we do have the devil. So it is not as bad as it as I thought is going to be with the hangman. When I when I saw the hangman, and oh gosh. Oh my god, but now I do have my hopes high with those four. So the fifth one represents how others sees us. And we do have the page of wands. Then uh, the sixth one represents what helps our primary goals throughout this week. What is going to help our primary goals throughout the week. Uh, that is going to be the four of swords, completely aligning with the topic. And the, the seventh card stands for what is going to hurt our goals throughout the week. And that is going to be the Three of Cups. And the last one stands for the Guidance. And this is going to be the Two of Pentacles. All right. Awesome. So uh, the topic and the energy supporting the topic, those two cards need to be interpreted together. So we do have a topic of standing still. Now this, uh, as with the hangman as a topic, this week is going to be, uh, I'd like to say simultaneously, a, a breakthrough and as well a test. Why? It's because uh, this week we are likely to take our things uh, very slowly. As a matter of fact, we are to restrain ourselves doing anything or changing anything. Uh, that is because from now on, our realization that comes from the energies, which is uh, this, this star card, our realization or our goal is going to be most important thing in the world. And we will not want to make a wrong moves, wrong mistakes, this, uh, wrong mistakes, yeah, wrong moves, mistakes, disappointing people around us and so on and so forth. On its own accord, the energies are promising us um, a truly a fulcrum that we are going to focus on, which fulcrum aligning with uh, the hangman is going to completely change how we see things around us. Okay, so um, we can expect to have as well relief 
throughout the week through the inactivity. It's actually very likely as well that many worries and problems that we have up until now are going to be, uh, are simply going to disappear. It is because our perspective changes and we are to uh, find out that those worries are feeding on our, um, on our, how can I say it, understanding, goal, you know, and perception in general. And now as our, as our perspe perception has been changed, there is nothing those problems are to feed on. So why inactivity, you would say? Well, that resides into the challenge and this is going to be the emperor. We are disorganized or we don't have what it takes yet to chase this fulcrum that the energies are promising to us. And instead of doing shenanigans and stupid things, uh, the hangman here points that we instead are going to take on a, a position of a standstill. And as a challenge, the emperor, the challenge for us is going to be to sort our things out while we do take a position of inactivity toward our goals. We need to take that time and to structure our life instead. So we have it as a foundation, as a trampoline, if you will, that we can jump from. Another thing that we may find difficult is to take on responsibility, to show ourselves as a, as a reliable person, you know, in a, in a marriage, in career, and so on and so forth. Um, and uh, in generally to show a consistency, that is going to be something um, something challenging for us. And oh my God, I'm seeing I'm seeing myself like this so much. It's just it's it's, it's like they're describing me right now. All right. So the next one uh, it does it does says about the blessings and the gifts that the week is going to give us. That is the devil. Only one word that I can describe the card as a gift and a blessing. It's power. It's power to, for, to, to provoke into, or to force or whatever uh, those circumstances we need. Okay, So whatever we want goes. Whatever we want to take, we are going to take it. That is our gift. That is our blessing. Of course, what I like to say about the devil card is about uh, intoxication. Do not intoxicate yourself with this power because the devil, the devil's wings are not always going to be on your back and you don't want to fall from a high places. All right. So be more calculative when it comes to oppressing your presence, your influence, and in generally using the power given to you, given to us, Scorpio, throughout uh, this week. But we can definitely achieve um, a good milestones. It is just, how can I say it? It is just are going to be different milestones than our original expectations as we enter into the week of uh, December 9th to December uh, 15th. So the next card here represents how other sees us. And that is going to be uh, the um, page of wands. So people were seeing us as a, a person open for everything new, person see open for any kind of ideas that are coming around. People were seeing us as the center of the of the company, of the universe, if you will, a person of an attraction. Now, important thing, however, it is that people do not see our weaknesses. People think that we are as strong as ice or as strong as iron here and that we cannot be heard by anything said. That's not true necessarily because the page of um, once has this flavor of uh, inner weakness or what I'm trying to say here, it is has that flavor of that outward, outwardly one looks like a strongest metal uh, while very fragile from within. Okay, I'm saying that it is because people or a person that you count on or that you have affection to may kind of like uh, say a joke that you are going to dislike and this person is not going to realize how much they hurt you. So it will be a, a good thing if that happens, you know, to talk with a guy or a girl instead of giving them a, a silent treatment. But also people are going to see you as a, a very unhappy person when try to be dominated upon. <clears throat> Okay, and uh, that is especially true with those which relationships or 
career places are in a, a position of subordination, right? So your boss is not going to see you happy that you have to follow his orders. Your husband or a wife are not going to see you happy that you have to oblige to certain their criteria and so on and so forth. So the other card here represents what you can do in order, or what we can do in order to further our goals throughout this week. Uh, what is going to help our primary goals throughout this week. We do have the Four of Swords. So the biggest thing that is going to help us is a fruitful conversations with a uh, with a, a faithful follower or a com companion that we do have right now. Maybe I have to talk more with more with, with my assistant about my channel, right? Or it, regardless well, regarding what my goal is right now, I will leave my goal for myself. But this is you know if my goal was to develop my business to its maximum, you know it is what the card would have mean at least to me. Okay, but the Four of Swords in generally points that uh, we have to seek wisdom and we have to seclude ourselves with one or two individuals, which individuals can see the situation objectively and can give us a, an objective opinion. The other way how we can interpret the card in this narrative is to, um, I don't know if this is the right expression, peace out. It's like, because the card points that many troubles that are worrying us right now are going to slumber they are going to slumber all right they're not going to disappear entirely but we can use that time of a slumber to reassess our strategies which is again spoken in the hangman with the star card obtaining the different vision the different view the different perception and so on and so forth so what we should not do throughout uh, this week because it, it can hurt our goal. Brag about it. Definitely with the Three of Cups, sharing your vision and your, and your opinion with everybody around. That is because there are envious people, all right? Uh, and, uh, you know, the power of mind goes beyond any boundaries. And just because someone thinks something bad of you, this, uh, this could kind of like uh, afflict your uh, your endeavor with negative energies but also there could be those with means to undermine your success as well so it will be best if you keep your ideas for yourself and only for the most loyal companions at that particular stage instead of announcing it publicly and uh, the last card here represents the guidance for us this is going to be uh, the Two of Pentacles, highly related to the Hangman at the start of the reading. The card points that we have to be playful and we need to be willing to let go of outdated standards, concepts, goals, ideas, and in generally as well, uh, strategies, also plans, because there are far better, easier and good way to, um, to advance toward our goals and toward our dreams. So that being said, Scorpio, this was our uh, weekly tarot reading, December 9th to December 15th, 2019. Hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And we're going to see each other next time. Until then, bye.